As we all know, technology has disrupted many industries, and that includes the beauty industry. All around the world, beauty companies are tapping on technology to make their products and services more personalized for the consumer. So I visited Porcelain Origins, which claims to be Singapore's first smart spa. The first thing you do is you walk in and these screens welcome you and greet you. So it'll tell you what color you're wearing. In front of it is a whole series of products laid out on the shelf and it's called their product discovery bar. So what happens is you pick up the product off the shelf and the screen actually lights up with information about each product. So no need for pesky salespeople to come after you and tell you every single ingredient of every single product. You can just read it for yourself and test it for yourself. So after that, you go in for your consultation in the skin consultation rooms. All the tables are fitted with screens where it welcomes you with my name. The thing about these tabletop screens is that it does enhance the customer experience. So the customer can go through the treatments themselves by touching on the screen and clicking through all the various programs. And at the same time, it consolidates all of their past information and the treatments that they've done in the past so that they know exactly how much they've done and how far their skin has improved or not improved all in one shot. You know, maybe in other places, in traditional spas, you have to rely on just the sales lady telling you all these things, but here you can actually see it for yourself very clearly um, with progress photos as well. If you want a detailed skin analysis, they will actually use this handheld device and they will take pictures, very high definition photos of everything from your pores to wrinkly areas to your acne and tell you what needs to be done. And they'll also analyze for your skin age. And finally, after all of that is done, we head into the powder room and the powder room is fitted with smart mirrors. Um, at the moment, the smart mirrors are quite basic. So they only have things like, you know, the weather and the time of the day and all that, but it is synced to the porcelain app that every customer has. So it does pop up with information about the treatment that you just did and maybe some post-treatment skincare tips as well. And at the same time, you can use the app to scan the, the digital mirror and choose the tea that you want. You know, we all need to have a tea to relax at the end. So here's the thing, when all these beauty companies are tapping on technology, I think some problems will inevitably arise. And so I did face a few problems at the spa, um, but they were quite minor. Uh, for example, the camera in the beginning that welcomes you into the store, it couldn't really detect the color of the dress I was wearing, so it kept saying I was wearing black and grey. And in the skin consultation room, uh, the hardware for the facial analysis scanner um, was very reliant on Wi-Fi, which as we all know, can be inconsistent sometimes. And finally, in the powder room, when I was trying to scan the QR code with my phone for the tea, it was a little wonky, so I don't know if it's the app or maybe it's just my phone. If spas aren't your thing, there are other beauty apps and websites that you can try to play with at home as well. Here are the three that I tried. The first app is called Spot Scan by La Roche-Posay, and as its name suggests, it scans your face for spots and imperfections. So after you scan it, it will pick out things like acne marks and pigmentation marks, and then after that, it will recommend products to you to deal with those issues. The next app is Sephora's Shopping app. Little do some consumers know, while shopping for lipsticks and eyeshadows, you can actually use AR in the app called Virtual Artist. And what it does is it lets you try on all the different shades of the lipstick. So for example, if you want to buy a lipstick, it'll just you just click try the shade and it will show your face with a lipstick shade on your lips. And finally, the last one is a website by Olay and it's called Olay Skin Advisor. And what it does is it scans your face for wrinkles and other aging areas. So it'll, it'll tell you your skin age and then it'll also tell you how to deal with uh, wrinkles around your eyes and your lips, for example. As innovative and efficient some of these concepts were, I have to admit, I did run into a few problems. So I think it'll be interesting to see how much further the beauty industry can tap on technology to create new solutions for consumers like you.